Is your skin still hurting you? Oh, I hate this show. <laughs> no, nope, we're going to do calls for the public now. Okay, caller, go ahead. Yeah, we're Siamese twins, and my brother and I want a separation. We're sick of being attached to each other. Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of things. All right, here's the situation. Clearly, my client has the right for both hearts, both brains, the skin, at least 18 of the 20 fingers. Well... Whoa, Tiger, you're asking me to throw the baby out with the bathwater here, okay? My client clearly deserves three shoulders, both skulls, and if you want both brains, then my client is entitled to all four testicles. What am I going to do with two brains and no skulls, eh? Here's my final offer. You want two skulls, you want all the balls, yeah. fine. If your client's willing to offer both sets of hair for my brains, weekend visitations on both spines, all fingernails, we got a deal. Agreed. Now what are we supposed to do? Pull! Pull! Okay, here goes. Perfect. Next caller. Hi, I'm six years old, and I'm calling you because... You speak really, really well for a six-year-old. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Listen, I was having my sixth birthday party, and Mommy and Daddy got Monty the Friendly Deadly Anti-Beast to come. That's great. Did everyone have fun? No. The beast started to breathe fire and burn... <laughs> incinerated all of my friends. Uh, that doesn't sound like such a good party, dude. If you want to see me alive ever again, leave five slaughtered and deboned cows in my backyard with a gallon of barbecue sauce and wet naps. And some yoo-hoos. Uh, hold, hold on. Uh, where's your mom? Um, where's, where's mom? Incinerated. Uh, incinerated. What does incinerated mean? Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, where's your father? Inseminated. He's inseminated. What's that mean? Uh, it means you're going to have a new brother or sister or something, huh? Yeah, and in about nine months, it'll probably chew its way out of your dad. So, good luck. See ya. Bye. Next caller. Uh, hi, yeah, I've, uh, been really hot lately, and uh -huh. I've, I've seen doctors and specialists about this constant burning feeling mm. I'm experiencing. Okay, mm. what kind of burning? Is it like a skin irritation, or...? Uh, you might say that it's like a burning sensation when I move or mm. when I'm not sleeping. It's mm. Like now, I can feel the irritation now. Uh, what, what line of work are you in? Well, I work around stoves and other hot objects, so I'm, I'm worried it might be job-related. Mm, yeah. That's, that's a tough one. Maybe you come down with a case of the fire. The fire? Yeah, it's an old wife's tale, but it could happen. Well, what, what are the symptoms? Well, uh, you're you're on fire. Yeah. On fire? Oh, well, maybe that's what this rash is then. Okay, okay thank you. Uh, hey, dude. dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to think maybe you know you're just on fire. Oh, all right then. Th thanks again. <laughs> thank you. That's it for calls, folks. See wow. ya. See ya.